<laughs> Let's do this again. Oh, Busama. Give me love, you give me love, yeah. You know, you have to understand why I love this song. And this song is awesome. Especially in Western. I am sure this song is a club banger. Because while most of you have listened and know what uh, Otile Brown is saying, people in Western, all they hear is Wusuma. Anything that praises that beautiful white cake will always be loved in Western. But anyway, I am Ricky Nelson and this is The Vent. So today I decided I'm gonna tell you a little story because I want you guys to get to know me. I want you guys to understand where all this craziness comes from. Um, it'll be, it's a bit hard to believe but uh, there was a time I was not always like this. I wasn't always so cavalier. I wasn't so always outspoken. I wasn't so always uh, all those words you know what I mean uh, there was a time in my life I was a very very shy young man as in if you had told me back then that Ricky one day you're gonna be able to stand in front of people and express yourself and tell jokes and perform for people I would have told you to get the hell out of here because at that time that was just unfathomable for me as in I couldn't see myself doing that so I remember I was in Form 1 at this time. I had just come home for the school holidays. And after a few days, I was hanging out with my friend Simon. And Simon tells me, dude, have you seen the new neighbors? I'm like, what? They're new neighbors? It's like, yeah. And they have a fine ass daughter. Like, for real? So I choose to investigate and finally I managed to gaze upon this beautiful creature, Diane. And I was young, by the way, I want you to remember throughout this story, I was young, okay? Don't go judging me for the stuff I did. So I was after seeing her her name was becky i never got her second name all i know is that her name was becky becky if you're watching this right now pay attention okay i i have to explain some things so i decided that i like becky yeah i like becky i've never spoken to this girl i i, I have no idea who she is all i know is her name is becky because simon told me so I decide, I like Becky, I want Becky, I'm going to do something about it. So I have a meeting in my head. Braille cell number one is like, yeah, we like Becky, so what are we going to do? Brain cell number two, very cocky ass guy, I think he's the one who runs the show right now. It's like, we are going to express ourselves to Becky. Brain cell one is the more centered, is the more uh, together part of me. And he asked, that's cool, but how? Brain cell number two, we're gonna write her a letter. Okay, okay, that's not a bad idea. But we have never spoken to this girl. We don't even know what she likes who she is how are you gonna address this point Brenzel too was like mm, that's your problem <laughs> so brain cell two gets his way after a lot of back and forth and we write our letter i remember i put some some emotion in that i wrote things you know those days when you used to, we used to quote r&b lyrics because back then back then r&b music was was sensual r&b music had 
meaning. Nowadays, it's all about uh, sex, fat ass here, and uh, wet ass pussy there. But back then, back then, shit was deep. So I wrote down my lyrics, folded up my letter, and I was like, yeah, step one, done. So I went back for my meeting with my brain cells. And brain cell one was like, yeah, we have our letter, but how are we going to get it to Becky? Brain cell two was like, don't you worry, we're going to slide it under her door. And brain cell one was like, that's not her house. She lives there with her family. So how sure are you that she's the one who's going to find the letter? Brain cell two was like, that's your problem. And again, after a lot of back and forth, brain cell two gets his way. And we walk up to this house and slide the letter under the door and run. I was shy. I couldn't even comprehend the thought that what if they found me sliding there I didn't think about that at the time so I dropped my letter and I bounced and I went back home so a couple of hours went by and then I was just roughhousing my brother I think I'd even forgotten about what I had done with my letter and then we hear a knock on the door uh, I don't remember when to open it but someone called me so I woke up to the door and hey it's Simon Simon is like, hey, Becky got your letter and she wants to speak to you. Do you know what is called panic? Because brain cell one and brain cell two never told me that there's a possibility that you might have to speak to this girl in person. She's not going to write you back. She might actually have the confidence to call your ass out. And as I felt my knees lock in place, I couldn't breathe. There was severe pain in my chest. And Simon is like, yeah, she's waiting for you over there. I was in sheer panic. So I asked Simon, did she look mad? Like, no. Um, did she look interested? Simon is like, I don't know. Um, go and tell her that my mama sent me to the shop. So I figured I bought myself some time. So Simon bolts away because he's, he's just a wingman like that. As in, he got me like that. So I'm in the house still shaking i still cannot catch a breath to save my life and i'm trying to figure out what's the best way to go talk to this girl so i go to the bathroom and i'm in the mirror trying to practice hey becky how you doing no you're gonna sound stupid calm down seem relaxed keep it cool hi becky how you doing? She's gonna see right through that shit. I'm having this conversation with my goddamn self this entire time. And before I'm even done with my routine, Simon's back. So Becky said that she's gonna wait. When you come back from the shop, you go see her. I told Simon, okay, do this. You just go hang out with her. Let me get dressed. I'm coming. So Simon bolts off and I'm left there trying to get my best Ricky face so that I can go and uh, meet Becky for the first time. Yeah, I was going to meet Becky for the first time. Because, yeah, my dumbass didn't think about any of these things. I didn't think that she was going to want to see me. I 
best case scenario, I thought she was gonna write me back. But no, uh, she wasn't shy like me. She wanted to see me. She really wanted to see me, and I, I, I didn't go. Okay, <laughs> in case you're wondering, I, I didn't go. Um, like I said, I was shy. I was not this. This was not Ricky back then. I was a shy, timid, pimply face little young man. I didn't go. <laughs> no, 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 no. So for the entire holiday, I stayed in the house. I really didn't get up because I couldn't risk bumping in. <laughs> um, so let me drop you a trailer for the part two of this video. Uh, Becky didn't pick up her letter first, okay? Her dad found her letter. And there's a story to that too. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you on the second part of this video. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. You can do so by clicking on the little red button underneath this video. Or if you go to my social media platforms, any of them, you will find my link there and you can click it and it will bring you right here and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the little red button underneath this video. But while you're there, like me, follow me, uh, talk to me in the comments. I always respond. I have nothing else to do, okay? Um, or no, uh, let, let me let me let me make this a bit more, a bit better. Um, comment, talk to me. Um, I I I like you guys. I I really I I will speak to you. I will make time for you. Okay. Uh, I'm not just one of those guys who ignores comments. All right. I'm I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna talk to you. Is that better? Yeah. I know. I, I know it's better. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, <laughs> the takeaway from this video is. People grow, man. People change. And I'm a testament of it. Once again, I am Ricky Nelson, and this is The Vent.